going on y'all I got another little bourbon video here for you well that's up to interpretation it's Jack Daniels and by definition I guess Jack Daniels is a bourbon so let's just call this a Tennessee whiskey uh, review uh, if some of you have seen some of my recent videos unbourbon related uh, I just got back from a Caribbean cruise and uh, I picked up a couple bottles here one is Probably very similar to what you can get in the United States. Over here, I have the Jack Daniels. It'd be this one right here. This is uh, Jack Daniels, 100 proof, bottled in bond. This is one that is uh, it's a one liter bottle. Uh, I've only ever seen this style bottle in um, international areas, uh, Canada, Caribbean, uh, cruise ships, uh, duty free type situations. But it should be similar to Jack Daniels bonded bottled and bond bonded two different packaging uh the bonded is a uh, it's a 700 uh, milliliter bottle and like i said it's labeled as bonded also 100 proof also bottled and bond hence the bonded this one is just labeled bottled and bond directly it comes in a one liter bottle international packaging if you want to call it that so i have two of those poured side by side i want to compare them see if there's any differences I don't know if there is or not. Um, I've had them both, but I haven't had them both side by side, so this will actually be my first side by side comparison of them. And also, I picked up this Jack Daniels uh, American Single Malt. Uh, this is a um, international duty free type bottle only. This one is finished. It is finished in Oroso. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Oroso a cherry cask. Sherry, not cherry. Uh, this one is a 90 proof, uh, also a one liter bottle. Um, I've only seen this uh, online and in duty-free shops um, in the Caribbean, and I bought this one on the cruise ship. Um, the uh, bottled and bond, it was like $32 on the cruise ship, so it was a little bit cheaper than the... Um, bonded here in the states per volume i also got 20 percent off on the first night of the cruise so that was an added bonus this one was uh 100 on the cruise ship i think it was like 104 something like that also got it for 20 percent off so that brought it down to around the 80 83 dollar um price range so first off i just want to compare the two bondeds Pull them around a little bit. I just have little little pours here. This one is the uh, bonded United States cut version, and the, this one here, you know, they correlate with how the bottles are sitting here. Bananas, you know, you get the typical uh, Jack Daniel banana nose. Um, little disclaimer: uh, the bonded one, the one I already had, is as you can tell, I ha it has been open for longer, so it is, you know about a third, two thirds empty, only a third of a bottle where this one is a fresh crack, so. On the nose, I think the new bottle has a little bit more of a nose, but like I said, it is a fresh, but similar smells. Get the banana runts, sweetness. Your typical Jack Daniels smell, I think. Uh, I think I just hit the, uh, the original bottle first, the, the bonded. Yeah, you're, like I said, traditional Jack Daniels bonded. No surprise there. Creaminess, sweetness. That is my first sip for the day, so I, I might want to just hit it one more time here. not have anything to drink yet so now I'll go directly to this one this one's a little sharper again it could be from the fresh crack but comparing apples to apples I think they're the same <clears throat> let me uh, clean my palate here go the other way with it <clears throat> 
Hit this one first this time. There's some subtle differences, but nothing that really stands out. It could be due to freshly opened bottle versus a bottle that's aired for, oh, probably seven, eight months. One's a little sharper than the other. The newer one's a little sharper. Little, Maybe a little more creaminess in the old bottle, but that again could be due to the age of the bottle being open. But I'd say all in all, if you pour somebody this, if you pour somebody either one, they're not going to know the difference. You, you you get a pour of this one, and then they say, oh, I'd like a, 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 new, um, a refill, and you give them that one. They're probably not going to notice any difference at all. I, I Yeah, I, I would say the same. This one's a little better value. Um, if you could buy it at duty free, like I said, I got this for 30 it was $32, $30, uh, $33. I should have looked up my receipt, and I got 20% off of that. So it was sub $30 for a liter. And this one here in the United States, at least here in Ohio, is mid $30 for a 700. So, yeah, if you're if you're in the Caribbean, you want to pick up a value, you're on a cruise ship, and you see these, great value. If you have a way to get it home, you can buy it tax and duty free. I would probably, that's probably the way I'm going to go. We cruise quite frequently, so when this one's empty, I probably won't replace it, and I'll just put this in its spot and uh, replace this whenever we go on a cruise. So now I'll direct over to the single malt. Like I said, this one is a duty-free uh, international type bottle only. It is American single malt, 90 proof, finished, and or, or God damn it, Oroso Sherry. Um, I have sampled out of this a little bit. I'm not much of a single malt guy. Um, I do like this. It was a little pricey. I mean, at a hundred ish dollars, I, I'm glad I got it for the eighty dollar range. Um, just going by what I remembered from the other night, this has got a lot of dark fruits and uh, sweetness to it. Just kind of. Try to remind myself of what I was tasting and I, I, did, I didn't pour very much. It is very dark. I don't know if you can see that, but oh, I'm trying to remember which one of the camera is. It's got a dark color. I mean, it's that's probably due to the uh, to the, fi the finish process, the double barrel finish process, if you will. On the nose, it's a lot of berry, like, like raspberries and blueberries. That's what comes right to, to the surface. Um, I don't know what this, the sherry uh, flavor profile is. If I remember reading right, it was they said a lot of dark fruits. But yeah, I get a little bit of, little bit of wood, but it's not like, not like charcoal or oak wood. It's kind of like, like that decay forest smell, like the leaves and the decaying forest floor smell when you stir it up. Yeah. That's kind of what I get out of it. It's got a lot of good legs to it. It's only a 90 proof. It smells way, way more prominent than a 90 proof. So, you get a little taste. I get a lot of the, hmm, not so much a berry, but like cherries. Like a, a like a chocolate, chocolate covered cherry, like a dark chocolate. Almost like those cordial, cordial cherry uh, boxes you see at Christmas time. It's got the, the creamy cherry, chocolate covered cherries in them. I think they're called cordial cherries, but yeah, that's what I get. Like a cordial dark chocolate on it. I get the maltiness that that uh, malto meal grain on the back side but it's very very short very short grain finish that chalk dark coat that dark chocolate cherry is the prominent flavor i get it out the finish is really short maybe just a touch of that peppery spice kind of like get a little of the dark fruit that might be from the uh 
the uh, cherry finish, like like raisins and plums, that type of dark fruit. So, I guess, yeah, I like it. I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad I got it for the cost I did. So, yeah, let's just make this kind of a short and sweet and kind of a quick and dirty little video on these. Um, maybe if you're in, the, like I said, you're in the Caribbean or uh, duty free and you see these, not a bad, not a bad thing to have in your collection. Something different. I call this one more of a, a desserty flavor, dark dessert. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, like I said, just to recap, these two, I, I don't see any differences in them other, other than the value and the packaging. This, um, lots of berries on the nose, chocolate covered cherries, cordial cherry on the flavor profile with a little bit of maltiness. Just a touch of spice on the dark side with like raisin, grape, not grapefruit, uh, raisin plum type finish. So yeah, that's it guys. Make it short and sweet. Maybe you can find one of these in one of your travels, and we'll catch you all later. Bye.